could I be anything else? Fever's down. Definitely improving, but I'd like you to stay put for a few days. What if I promise to take it easy? You can start by taking walks around the hall as long as someone's with you. I'll be with her. Everyone in this hospital owes you and Carly a debt of gratitude. Not only did you recover enough antidote to stamp out the virus and save a lot of lives, but there's enough for us to study for duplication. Whatever you've done any other time, today you're a hero. Slow and easy. You'll be good as new. A hero? Mm. Well, that's pretty good price for a change, huh? It'll pass. Yeah, yeah, I'm right, probably will. Okay, so Patrick said that he wanted me to get myself back together, be good as new, but I don't think that's possible. My brother's gone. And so is a part of the person that I used to be. That's all the family I had left. Giving up a child. Okay, I'm a little shakier than I thought. You want to go back? No, I want to try and get at least one full lap around here before I... Kiss my daughters. And then? Eat chocolates. I'm really glad that you're recovering. And again, I'm so sorry about Danny. I'm not uh, going to insult you by saying something in name like I know how you feel because I don't. I can't. All I know is that I will always be profoundly grateful for everything that you did for my family. And there aren't words to express the regret that I feel for not being able to repay you by saving Danny. I really hope that someday you'll be able to forgive me. should have made Alexis shut up and pulled you away from her sooner. I know. Jason, I didn't want to go. I was actually trying to hear what Alexis was saying, and then all of a sudden her, her voice just kind of faded out in this, this buzzing noise came in my ears and and it was the sound that Danny's monitors made when he died and, it, and then I just kept hearing Danny say over and over again for me not to cry he was going don't cry Sam don't cry and then he also said that oh, our parents chose me to be his sister and then his voice faded and Alexis's voice came boring through with her manipulated guilt and questionable sympathy and I swear I just want I can't do it okay you need to keep her away from me because I don't know what I'm going to do Excuse me, Miss McCall, but I have some forms you need to fill out regarding your brother. Can't wait. Well, we need to do an autopsy so we can get the body. No, I, I can't do this right now. Okay, so I'll take care of it. Oh, my. I don't really think my mother liked either one of us. She was ashamed of Danny's handicap and... She was always so cold to me, which doesn't make sense to what Danny said, saying that I was chosen because I certainly didn't feel that way. I gave my baby up. I have no reason to barge into her life now. She's your child. Not anymore. 
What if you were more chosen than you think? What do you mean? What if you were adopted? <laughs> That's impossible. Why? Why? Because my father would have told me. Not necessarily. Okay, well, you know what? If you're right, then there is a way to find out. I'm putting this away. There is no point in reliving something that I can't do anything about. I'll have the hospital run a DNA test on Danny. I'll find out if he's my brother. That my parents are my parents, no matter how dysfunctional, but they were my parents, not some stranger who gave me away. Whoever and wherever my daughter is, it's best that we don't find each other.